Travis Hatton here. I'm the music director of the Beaverton Symphony Orchestra. And I'm really excited to be able to tell you that the Beaverton Symphony Orchestra is getting back together and we're currently preparing a brand new live stream concert that we're going to be sharing with the community. I'm also really excited to be able to tell you that we're bringing back the pre-concert talk. And that's a talk that I tend to talk about each one of the pieces of music that's going to be performed on the concert. For this Spring Strings concert, we've got a four-part mini-series plan that we'll talk about each piece individually. In addition to that, we're going to be preparing a 30-minute pre-concert talk that will be aired before the performance. Now, one more piece to go for here, and this, of course, is Mozart. Mozart, Mozart, Mozart. Everybody knows who Mozart is. Mozart is an iconic figure. He's known by everybody. Uh, it's like people who are even non-musicians, people who have never, ever been to a concert before, somehow they at least have heard of the name of Mozart before. An amazing thing for a person who lived less than 36 years over 200 years ago on the other side of the world. It's just really, really, really remarkable. This particular person is such a huge historical person. And this piece, this piece that we're gonna do for you, this is called his Adagio and Fugue. And this piece also has a really interesting history. Most of the time, by the time that Mozart was a com mature composer, and he was a mature composer by the time he was 20, by the way, um, when he was a mature composer, Pretty much everything he wrote was something that he was commissioned to do, something that he was asked to compose, uh, you know, so that he could, he could earn an income. I mean, that's what he did. He was a composer, a teacher. So uh, he spent very little time. I mean, he was so busy, he really had very little time to do anything else besides concentrate on, on uh, making a living. He was incredibly prolific at it as well. But this piece seems, I mean, there seems to be no evidence that anybody ever asked him to compose this piece. Uh, it was originally written for piano. I think piano, four hands piano, two players on the piano. And even so, he thought enough of this piece to take it from that piano version and to create this version of it for a string quartet, string orchestra. And yet, we don't even know for sure if this piece was ever even performed during his lifetime. There's really no record of it. There certainly doesn't seem to be any record of somebody asking him to play this piece and put that on top of the fact that the piece is really written in a style that was not popular at the time. But what he does in this piece is that he shows everybody that he can write very complex counterpuntal music, which was sort of a thing that sort of an art to a certain degree that tended to fall off you know, at the end of the Baroque period in the mid 18th century, really the death of Bach and Haydn, uh, or rather Handel, uh, people just weren't writing this severely counterpuntal music anymore. And it's actually really difficult to do, but what Mozart shows is that he is completely capable of writing this kind of music on a really, really high level, uh, which most composers at his time really couldn't even hope to do. So. Mozart maybe, perhaps he was just showing off. <laughs> and it may be that since he did arrange it for a string quartet, string orchestra, there may have been some kind of house performance somewhere during the course of his lifetime. I certainly hope so, uh, because it really is a very, very intriguing piece of music, one that shows really his compositional technique, you know, it shows how his compositional technique is on the level of brilliance, simply brilliance. So I really, really hope that you will be joining us for our fall concert. And until then, I hope that you're able to tune in to some of our live stream concerts that will be happening between now and then. Thank you very much for listening to this video.